The beef industry needs people who are willing to talk to consumers and answer questions about how beef is produced, from pasture to plate. That's what the Masters of Beef Advocacy program is all about, equipping producers with the information they need to educate consumers. Brian Baxter has a look at one Nebraska rancher who has a passion for sharing the beef story. Those who work out on the land raising cattle know their life is not the same as the majority of Americans. That's especially true when your cattle operation is many miles from the nearest town. The Sand Hills is the middle of nowhere. We're 25 miles to town. You have to love what you do there. And um, I don't know, it's just been ingrained in me to love raising beef since I was a kid. My grandparents raised Semmental cattle. We lived on a feed yard growing up. and. I, d I don't know, I just, I can't explain why I love it. I just know I do. So I started Faith Family and Beef almost five years ago as a way to connect with those outside of agriculture and kind of give them a glimpse of everyday ranch life and teach them about beef to help them grow their confidence in all things beef. Taryn blogs on her own website, faithfamilyandbeef.com. In addition, she shares stories and photos of her family's life in the beef cattle industry with thousands of followers on Instagram, Facebook, and other social media. Those efforts resulted in Taryn winning the Beef Advocate of the Year Award and being honored on stage in front of a big crowd at the 2019 Best of Beef event. Well, I was a little shaky, <laughs> but it really did feel good to see um, my work recognized because blogging is kind of a lot of work, <laughs> writing and photographing and connecting and telling your story. It takes a lot of work, so it was nice to be recognized. At first, I started telling my story. I was just saying what I was doing every day on the ranch, and I wasn't reaching the people I wanted to reach, so then I started sharing more of myself and uh, motherhood and reaching out to those other moms who you know have to cook and provide for their families healthy nutritious meals and that's what i've learned most is we have to connect on common ground and be ourselves outside of the ranch the mba or masters of beef advocacy is a free educational program managed by ncba as a contractor to the beef checkoff Taryn says the MBA program played an important part in her success. The Masters of Beef Advocacy program was a great foundation. It takes you through all the steps in the beef life cycle. You know, we're, we're segmented industry, and I was heavily involved in the feedlot segment of our industry, and so I went cow, calf, and ranching all the way to the plate, which was really helpful when your day-to-day -day is so uh, focused in one area, it's, it's hard to remember what's going on in the other segments. Taryn encourages others to share their own stories so that people who don't know can have a better understanding of the work cattle producing families do. Earn that trust, tell your story, because if we're not telling our story, someone else will. I get lots of questions about the things that we do, and I really love answering them because my whole goal is to help people become more confident or as confident in beef as I am, and I'm really confident in beef. At the Best of Beef in New Orleans, I'm Brian Baxter reporting for NCBA's Cattleman to Cattleman. Anyone with a genuine interest in promoting the beef industry is encouraged to enroll in the Masters of Beef Advocacy program. There's no cost to participate and you can complete the program on your own schedule. Just visit the website beef.org slash MBA.